weekend reading. February the 25th and the 26th, 2023. How do you like them apples? Right, I'm going straight in, as the actress said to the bishop. We are using a classic, we're using the Rider Waite. So, what do we need to know for the energies around this weekend? Do check out your monthly readings, those are out. Woohoo! I know, get me, Valentine joins us. Hi Val! Yeah, not even an ear flicker. I have this feeling that when I'm kind of talking to you that behind my back she's like getting her top hat and her cane out and like doing a whole routine, you know what I mean? But when it comes to looking at my face, she's just completely insouciant, as my mum would say. Okay, what do we need to know? Some of that. Oof, hello. Hello. We are deep into Pisces season. Can you feel it? Let me know. Let me know how it's feeling for you. Um, birdies, no birdies at all. They may come back, they may be hiding out. Oh God, cripes, okay. I'm gonna pay attention and then we'll have a look down at the cards. What's your plans for the weekend? Let me know. Are you having a special weekend breakfast or brunch? How many people have second breakfast? I'm a huge fan of a second breakfast, I really am. Oh my cripes. Let's have a look at these cards because there's a lot going down by the looks of it. Oh, should we turn my phone off as well? Yes. Hurrah. Okay. Billy Bob, Billy Bob, Billy Bob, Billy Bob, Billy Bob. See, it's Pisces season, so I was miming like going down, you know, with your like you did at school when you had to do the underwater swimming. Do you remember when we talked about that on the channel and, and you all told me your school swimming experiences? <laughs> so traumatic, so much trauma. <clears throat> I was talking about how here in the UK we used to have to put on a pair of smelly old, usually kind of lost property tracksuit outfit and then jump in with all our clothes on and retrieve a brick from the bottom of the pool. I know, I mean, Christ. Okay, look, we've got some very interesting cards here, people. Look at these two together. Now, these two often pop up together, actually, more often than you would think. Um, nevertheless, I always take note that they are both, I know this sounds really basic, but they're both a cycle and a circle, okay? So the Ace of Pentacles is obviously um, an Earth card. We have the cosmic hand, love me a cosmic hand, popping out of the cosmic cloud with this pentacle. And the pentacle itself is very earth signy along with being an ace. So it has a whole kind of growth and potential and it's like, do you want to make this investment? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? When it's in the reverse, it's saying to you, this might not be the time to sign up or it might not be the time to plan to get something off the ground. Pisces season is for me, because you've got Aries season coming up on the 20th of March-ish, Pisces season is the 12th sign of the zodiac for a start. Pisces is the 12th sign of the zodiac. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. And when you get into Aries season, it's more about action and let's do it and come on and, you know, and it's cardinal for a start. So it's got this whole, let's do it now. Woohoo! You know, we're streaking across the quad. Frank the tank. It's that kind of energy. It really is. Pisces season, oof. you're into this kind of layered, gossamer, sleeping under a velvet sort of, and this is just my average weekend, being a double Pisces, sleeping under a velvet throw, you know what I mean, a fluffy pillow, some sparkles, the glittery library, all of that kind of vibe. Get into that vibe, it's a yin vibe, it's potentially a feminine energy passive vibe, okay? But there is such a lot you can get out of it if you are introspective. 
Now we've also got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse which is telling us even more and this is not just for this weekend but for the next couple of weeks it's just telling us even more kick off your boots and get comfy I suppose or if you're going to be uncomfortable do it around spiritual things so push your spiritual boundaries but not your earthly boundaries okay and of course there may be things that you need to sign up for or things that you need to do but try and get your intuition going first. How do I feel about this? And take it seriously. In the middle here, we've got the King of Wands, which is fire sign energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Some of you might be dealing with, not necessarily a fire sign, but somebody who, this energy can be a little bit bratty, a little bit stroppy. I was gonna say strappy then, like a sandal. Um, it can be a bit spit the dummy, you know, if I can't do it my way or why won't you listen to me? It's a bit kind of dramatic around this. So there may be somebody who's yanking your chain or just pulling you in in some ways. Again, I don't think this is the time to capitulate to that. We've got this lovely Empress energy. Again, Venus here, divine feminine energy. Yeehaw, where is Venus? Is Venus in Aries at the moment? Yes, ooh. So we've got Sun in Pisces, we've got Venus in Aries. You may be, and this is where the lovers comes in, because the lovers, of course, we've got Gemini energy, but more importantly than literal Gemini energy is energy of twins, an energy of duality an energy of two horses, one arse, okay? So you're feeling kind of v -v voom in the Venus department, but in the kind of Pisces, sun in Pisces, Pisces season, you're feeling very disparate. Those two things actually are a very interesting combination for things like creating stuff, making nice, um, making nice paintings, I was gonna say, what does that even mean, Gemma? But you know what I mean, getting your craft stuff out, getting your gardening stuff out, getting your um, jewellery making kits out or your tool kits out or whatever it is that you find aesthetically pleasing, okay? And it can be all sorts. I personally have a penchant for glitter. I love glitter. I love things that are shiny. But on the other hand, you know, I also have a thing, and I, this is ridiculous because I am the most impractical person. Like, I cannot change a light bulb, I can't change a tire, I can't, pr I can't even open most things in the kitchen, never mind anything else. I can be found for ages puzzling over a packet. But, I love antique tools. You know, we have in the UK, and I don't know if you got them wherever you are, let me know. We have like some charities that are literally, they're called something like the old man's shed or something like that. And they're full of, and I've bought some of these tools. I can't use any of them. I just look at them. Like I have a wooden, I think it's called a set square. So it's like this wooden right angle thing with a metal ruler thing on the inside. But the patina, love me a bit of patina. It's just... Ah, oh, so worn and so beautiful. I love it, like old hammers and just, you know, whatever it is that rings your bell and it doesn't even have to make sense, get into it over this weekend. Get your old, I don't know, felt stuff out or whatever. And then the lovers here, of course, with the lovers, we've got some low hanging fruit always. We've got a snake and an apple and a woman and you know, those three things, nothing ever went well when those three things were in the picture. So there's just a bit of a warning here with the lovers about making a choice. For a few of you, if this is a romantic thing, there may be a need to make a choice around somebody whose behavior, well, I think I've said enough, haven't I, with my face, whose behavior just turned on the top lip a little bit. Okay, and again, you might not want to commit to a judgment. Pisceans generally, or Pisces season, not very judgmental, um, 
but actually quite judgmental sometimes. That's a typical two fish thing as well. But at the same time, won't come to a conclusion. The judgment is always open. So judge away, but leave an open verdict. That's what I'm saying. So let's recap a bit, because obviously it's Pisces season. So the readings are like, blah, 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 like this. On a very basic level, not the time to start something concrete or sign up for anything, perhaps financial, although obviously take financial advice and it might be that you have to and that's your choice. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Sometimes the wind isn't behind you. Sometimes it isn't supposed to be the time when you're moving forward. It's blathering about time and that's good. So get comfy with it. Get Piscean season with it. Find out some, find your most comfortable footwear. And of course it goes without saying your best elasticated trousers and feel out your nest, you know, find the things that you like with the Empress, your craft stuff, your art stuff, your tool shed, whatever it is, find it. And oh, it can be like sorting through a box of stuff, but actually enjoying it, not doing it because you have to, but doing it in a desultory kind of, ooh, kind of a way, okay? For a few of you, there may be a romantic decision that you're mulling over here with the lovers and the king of wands. And we agreed you can be as judgmental as you like, but probably don't come to a conclusion. There you go. Oof, right. Oh, hello. Oh my God, that's so funny. One of them just popped out, as the actress said to the bishop. And here we go. I'm going to go. Here I am. Okay. Mending. Isn't that strange? And I can tell you now, I'm not exactly the best sewer. Come from, obviously, my sister made this quilt. Um, my mum, a great sewer. They all have sewing machines. They knock up curtains and skirts and whole outfits in my sister's case and whole things like this. Me, not so much. Um, but I'm not bad. I'm not terrible. I can do a little bit of this and that in sewing. I can sew a button on and I can make a small patchwork thing myself by hand. Um, but that's about it. And it's just weird, isn't it, that this card should come up? Because normally I must say sewing and stuff is not in the forefront of my mind, okay? It really isn't. So, yeah, get out your craft stuff. Have a nice time. Be Piscean. Be messy about it or tidy up in a messy way, if that makes sense. Make it fun, okay? And then tell me all about it in the comments section. And enjoy. Happy weekend. I will see you soon. Namaste.